After great excitement and anticipation, the Volvo Ocean Race got underway today here in Alicante with the Iberdrola Import Race. It was clear from the start that this was going to be a titanic clash of the world's best ocean racing teams. The six-strong fleet has been described as the cream of world ocean racing. But today they were not tested on the open water, but instead in a Formula One style inshore challenge designed to push the crews to the max. The first upwind leg showed just how finely matched these boats are, with Groupama, Camper and Abu Dhabi sailing neck and neck. Puma tried to steal a march up on the inside of the fleet, but Abu Dhabi held its ground and forced Puma to bear away and round the mark in third place, behind Camper but ahead of Groupama with Telefonica and Sanya left trailing in their wake. As the wind fell, it turned into a tactical showdown, with Camper searching for a way to gain ground on the lead boat. But Abu Dhabi looked in control as they rounded the downwind mark. But then, incredibly, disaster struck Camper. As they rounded the mark, they seemed to be forced wide, allowing Puma, Group Armour and Sanya all to overtake leaving the race favourites behind the field with Telefonica. Approaching the windward gate, Abu Dhabi sailed through comfortably in the lead and as they did, the wind dropped dramatically, leaving the rest of the fleet struggling to follow. And as Abu Dhabi steamed ahead, they seemed to find the wind when the others couldn't and took full advantage. They crossed the line with a massive 14-minute lead to the delight of Adil Khalid, the crew member from the United Arab Emirates. Puma finished second, Camper third, Team Sanya fourth, Group Armour fifth and Telefonica in sixth. But the accolades went to Abu Dhabi Ocean Racing, with skipper Ian Walker modest about his team's achievements. It's a great start for Abu Dhabi Ocean Racing. Um, you know, I don't think it means too much in the big picture, but uh, as I said in this morning's, uh, this morning's media zone, whoever wins today's race, they might not win the race, but they can go home with a spring in the step and look forward to the week ahead. And so Abu Dhabi throws down the gauntlet to the rest of the teams as the Volvo Ocean Race gets off to a thrilling start.